Another day, another multi-million dollar property to tour. Today we're hanging out in Deep Cove at a $13 million home that I officially want to call my own. From stunning panoramic views to a 5,000 gallon koi pond, a waterfall and of course a gourmet kitchen, you might have to pinch yourself to believe this one's the real deal. Meet Jason Soprovich, realtor extraordinaire. He's the selling force behind some of the most impressive properties around Vancouver. He might be used to $13 million homes, but coming from under 600 square feet, I am not. This property is ridiculous, Jason. Tell me all about it. Well, it's a beautifully designed residence. Uh, Brian Hemingway, who's a local BC architect, designed the home for the owners and is absolutely spectacular. You can say that again. It's situated on uh, just over half an acre of property, uh, beautifully landscaped, and there's, there's a, a beach. beautiful beach right here, Sandy Beach, which is rare for this part of the world, and overlooking just a gorgeous scenic backdrop over to Bella Cara and Boulder Island behind us. Um, and the greatest aspect about this property is you have water access, so we're right on a 300-foot dock. Brian implemented a bunch of water features to the, to the home. Uh, which really add to the dimension and architectural aspects of it. The, the water features include um, about a 40-foot cascading creek into a 5,000-gallon koi pond and uh, a gorgeous uh, waterfall into a steaming hot tub. Yeah, and then there's definitely the inside-outside living as well. So you have the lawn, you have this amazing dock, you have the beach, and then you have the terraces. Yes, and so they're perfect for entertaining, both on a casual and formal basis, depending on how you want to live your life. First of all, as soon as you walk in here, it feels like you've stepped into the most luxurious cabin imaginable. Yes. Tell me about all this wood, because this is impressive. It is. It's extremely impressive. What is unique about this particular home is all natural, everything that was utilized to, to construct the residence. So all the wood you see here today is all Douglas fir, and it's been vertically cut. So there are absolutely no blemishes in the wood whatsoever. Oh my gosh, now we were just hanging out in the living room and look at that fireplace. Yeah. That's a stunner. Awesome. It is, it's gorgeous. So this was a signature fireplace. It was designed um, and clad in Pennsylvania bluestone, which is a very rare stone. It's very soft on the eyes. And then that stone continues on down as we walk into my favorite room of any home, the kitchen. The kitchen, of Where course, all the good yes. food happens. Exactly. The kitchen was designed in the eyes of the owners uh, to be an open concept. Their vision was to have guests over and to be able to congregate around this particular location. All right, so this is clearly a very zen kitchen. You feel peaceful when you walk in. Yes. And then there are the pocket doors which open up into yes. an outdoor kitchen with bamboo. Yes. So Amazing. The, the architect's design and vision was to have more of a Japanese zen-like feel. Absolutely. And the appliances in here are exactly what you would expect from a $13 million home. Of course. The top of the line. Melee, Sub-Zero, Wolf. Yes, all of them. Absolutely, this is a cook's dream kitchen. It is, it's a wonderful kitchen. It's very light and bright, the overhead skylights and uh, all the transom windows throughout the house really add to the dimension of that. Yeah, and the windows absolutely give you that indoor-outdoor feeling. They do. I almost couldn't tell if there was something in between the kitchen and the terraces. Yeah, which was really, um, I think, the vision the architect was looking for. He was very excited about making certain that they brought the outdoors in and that's exactly the way they live. Good break. Thank you. This is the ultimate man cave. It is. Isn't I it? love it down yeah, here. Yeah, it's fantastic. So there's a bar, we have a pool table. What else? Well, it's an open, versatile use of space. So basically, it does incorporate some gaming area, uh, as well as a media and uh, sort of built in theater area, uh, wet bar at the back, and all surrounding this beautiful Pennsylvania bluestone fireplace. Yeah. And the same level when you're ready to retire after a long game of pool? Yes. All the bedrooms down on this level, too. They are. So it's a reverse plan. So all the bedrooms are on the lower level which is really quite lovely because if you're a family and you're entertaining in this area together in the evening you can all disperse to your bedrooms on this level. Absolutely. So tell me about that master. I am obsessed with the ensuite. A very unique master. It was designed um, quite beautifully in, in scale so it's a large master. Uh, very high vaulted ceilings with an overhead skylight. 
Um, and the aspect of looking and being able to walk out into the garden is just such an appealing aspect, I find. And with a basement like this, or well, basement, I don't think I'd ever have to go upstairs. Yeah, we call it a lower level walkout. Yeah. Yeah, yeah never <laughs> have to go upstairs. It also has access to um, its own um, private dog wash, which you guys haven't seen yet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's like oh, a salon for dogs. Dog. <laughs> and also a, a ton of storage. Um, it has a five car uh, carport and garage. So for the car enthusiast, the pool table enthusiast, everything is covered here. It's, it is, it's very unique in that regard. It's great entertainment space. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I had to check out this hot tub. Can you blame me? Yeah, it might cost you a cool 13 million to own this property, but if you think about the bragging rights, which is basically about $12 million, you're gonna score all of this for under a million bucks, which in my mind is the best deal in Deep Cove. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one on The Real Houses of Vancouver. Do you own or represent a home that should be featured on The Real Houses of Vancouver? Good news, we're currently accepting submissions, so please inquire at realhousesofvancouver at gmail.com.